There are a few reasons why some of the 80s greatest horror movies were able to slip through the cracks with no follow-up film even 40 years later. Oftentimes, horror movies of the era were critically panned at the time of their release, only becoming cult classics later on far past the point of their life cycle in which developing a sequel would have been feasible. In other cases, individual horror films simply stand on their own so well that to ID it on a sequel would be an exercise in futility, the original already existing in perfect stasis as a self-contained concept. From the creators of Alien, terror brought down to Earth. Fear so intense it will stay with you to the grave and beyond. Released in the early 80s, Dead and Buried generated controversy and was banned in the UK for its graphic content. Despite its innovative blend of mystery and horror, the film failed to garner the critical acclaim it deserved. The story follows a sheriff investigating a series of murders in a seemingly idyllic town. As he delves deeper, he uncovers a disturbing truth that throws him into a dangerous conspiracy. The film's blend of suspenseful storytelling and visceral violence, however, may have alienated critics who found it either too focused on gore for mystery fans or too reliant on plot for horror enthusiasts. Another 1981 horror film to garner controversy for being heavily censored? Possession is a high-concept horror film that fuses espionage thrillers and political drama with Lovecraftian horror. The film centers around the tumultuous divorce of a husband and wife, one of whom happens to be a German spy. The film is a kaleidoscope of seemingly incompatible elements, from relationship drama to romance, noir style, and supernatural elements. Yet all of these aspects of possession blend together in a swirling nightmare of psychological horror whose censorship unfairly gutted its chances at a sequel. A forgotten entry in the overpopulated slasher lineup of the 80s, The Burning could have easily been the one to reap a franchise of sprawling sequels over contemporaries like Friday the 13th. Admittedly, The Burning's premise is lifted fairly note for note from Jason's movies, telling the story of a disfigured summer camp caretaker who gets his revenge on sex-positive teenagers. If it can be viewed in a vacuum, The Burning has some of the most gut-wrenching gore and pulse-pounding tension of any slasher, making it a compelling horror movie in its own right, even if it wore its influences on its sleeve. John Carpenter's classic, They Live, blends action and horror with chilling effectiveness. Even today, the film's skull-faced aliens, revealed as the true threat through special sunglasses, remain genuinely frightening. The story follows a drifter who uncovers a shocking truth. Aliens are subtly controlling humanity through subliminal messages. They Live is both a thrilling action adventure and a sharp social commentary, offering an impactful experience despite its limited universe. Now I'll show you what I already know. It's a crock of shit. Widely considered John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing delivers a haunting experience. Set in an isolated Antarctic research station, the film masterfully combines the chilling atmosphere with the fear of an ever-changing parasitic alien creature. While numerous comic books, video games, and even a prequel film expanded on this universe, The Thing itself never received a direct sequel. This leaves viewers perpetually questioning the fate of the characters, unsure who, if anyone, survived the encounter.